What's up guys, it's Damp. So today I'm going to bring you a video that's going to talk to you guys about bottom fishing and where to put your skill points into bottom fishing. Now I'm not going to go into the overall skill tree and explain how skills work or, or any of that stuff um, in order to keep the video shorter. So th There's a few videos on there out there already about that. So uh, if you need a link or you, you do want me to cover that, put it in the comments and I'll cover it for you guys. But we'll go ahead and get started. So there's going to be two different ways to go through all of your skill trees. One is essentially when you're leveling, and one is after you use your free skill reset. So we're going to talk about both of them in this tree, but they do kind of vary significantly. So we'll go into bottom fishing, and I'll kind of give you a breakdown on where you want to put your points. And it keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a rush to spend your points this way as soon as as soon as you you can so when you get 10 points you don't have to put your first 10 points into bottom fishing you're probably going to want to spread it out to summon spin fishing to help support when you you are bottom fishing if the bottom fishing isn't good and vice versa so what i'm going to tell you is is where you want to put your points into and then it's up to you guys ultimately how you want to spend them or how long you want to wait to spend them in any particular category so we'll get right into it so you can see my skill tree here. Now this isn't a perfect skill tree by any means. This is my opinion on what I want to use based off the way I fish. What I'm going to give you guys is going to be a general tree that you can use for pretty much each species of fish and you can pick and choose what you want to put on or take off. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what not to choose. So the only thing on here that I'll tell you that you absolutely positively do not want to choose is do not choose rocket feeder and do not choose spinning reel. So some people will tell you, oh, spinning reel is really effective. I can throw it a mile. You don't need to. There's no reason you need to. The only place I can possibly see that being worthwhile may be at Sura, where you want to cast to, I believe it's an 8-meter hole. I think the coordinates are 9840 uh, to make sure that you're getting into that deep hole. But accuracy really isn't important. Casting distance, I've never had a problem catching fish because I couldn't cast far enough. I just don't understand the logic there. I'm hoping that gets reworked at, at some point because I really feel that that's absolutely useless. So those are the two I'm going to tell you that you absolutely do not want. Um, a, a couple explanations on some of these things. The inline rig, this actually applies to... And thanks to G for the confirmation for this. This actually applies to the basic feeder rig. There are some translation issues with it right now. So just keep that in mind as, as we're going to talk through. Because um, I actually had to ask that to get some clarity before I put out the video for sure. So we'll go ahead and get right into what I do recommend now that we've already talked about what you don't want to put your points in. So we'll start first with as you're leveling. So the first thing I would recommend that you want to rush to put your points into is your simple bottom rig. Until you get to probably 30 to 40%, it's going to be the rig you're going to use the most of. I think to this day, if I was to look at my stats, it's probably what I've caught. Yeah, I've caught over 4,000 fish on it. So to give you an idea, that's probably one you're going to use the vast majority of the time that you begin to fish. So... As you're leveling, you definitely want points in your basic um, bottom rig uh, because you're going to use it really probably until you get to, at the least, probably 16 to 20, I would think, before you reset your skills. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, bottom rig is what you're going to put in when you're leveling. Now, eventually, in my opinion, you're going to take it out of there and put those three points into something else. Once you, you know, you're up through your tree, maybe you have loop rig and method feeder unlocked, then you can reset your tree um, and, and use them into something else. But what you see here is what I would recommend as far as late game. Um, eventually I may put points into carp rod, but it takes so long to get to carp rod that we're just going to ignore carp rod and PVA sticks for now. So what I'm going to recommend is fishing with feeder rod over time, you do want to max out. This isn't one you need to rush to. Don't put seven points in this right away you don't have to do that what it does is it minimizes the amount of fish you lose but i'm not convinced that the amount of fish you lose would be worth investing seven points in a chunk right away like your first 10 points i don't know that you'd want to throw seven into your fishing with a feeder rod because you're probably going to do, be doing other types of fishing as you're leveling up as well so 
you're, you're definitely going to put them in simple bottom rig. Over time, you're going to begin to put them in fishing with the feeder rod. And then as you go through the skill tree, the only other ones I'm going to recommend that you utilize are loop rig. That's if you really like to fish for brim. Um, and uh, anytime you, you're going to bottom fish where there's a current. So figure Volkov for a lot of the brim species, the Vimba, those are those pay out really well. Um, so that that's one you want to consider there. And Sura when you want to fish for surge, Sturgeon and Sturlet later in the game. So... That's a long way to get to Sura, obviously. So this is another one I don't know that you need to rush to unless you really enjoy fishing for those brim, which can make you a decent amount of money. Um, from there, the next one you're going to choose is Method Feeder, and this is primarily to fish on Bear Lake for the carp species. That's what you're going to utilize there. Um, you can see that it says, uh, highly efficient rig for fishing large carp, and Bear Lake is where the large carp are. So that's one you definitely want to utilize there. And then baitfish bottom rig, once you unlock this, this will take a long time. You'll probably be in the mid to late 20s before you get it. Baitfish bottom rig is probably, in my opinion, the best rig in the game. It does take a long time to get bit on baitfish. But when you do get bit, you tend to catch really big fish. So that's those are my recommendations for the skill tree as far as what, what you're going to pick. Now... If we were to tell you when to, to reset your skills, it's going to vary based off the player, but I would say you're going to keep this until probably you've unlocked at least loop rig, and even after loop rig, maybe once you get method feeder, you could drop this. Um, but simple bottom rig, I wouldn't have an issue if somebody was maxed out and they had three points in it, because it's so good for Kuori when you're fishing for char and when you're fishing for burbot. So if you do enjoy fishing from the island for the char and burbot, I think that's one of the best rigs, um, if not the best rig in the game, to fish for those those particular fish. So um, once you have loop rig, you can probably reset your tree here, but um, it's it's almost worth keeping if you're going to fish a lot of kuori. I really don't fish a lot of kuori anymore. That's why I reset it and dropped it from the tree. So... Um, to, to reiterate, you're looking at possibly 13 points here prior to you being level 20. So keep that in mind as you're beginning to build your tree and spend your points when you're looking across your whole skill tree and you're, you're breaking it down and you're looking at it and you go, hmm, how many, how many points am I going to use here? How many points am I going to use there? You're going to use probably 13 points. Um by the time you get to loop rig in bottom rigs or in bottom fishing rather so that's a lot that's you can tell that, like that's what i have the most points in invested in and again it's not a race you don't have to fill out those 13 points as fast as you can but i would say is is when you know you're going to unlock an ability like loop rig or method feeder have three points saved up and plan for that that way you're not trying to put a point here a point there just put your three points in it. Otherwise, you really won't see a, a, a really big difference, in my opinion. Um, it's almost like it's you got to be all or nothing with the points you put into them. So with that, hopefully that answers some of your questions. I do get quite a few of them. So guys, if it doesn't, put some uh, comments down below, and I'll try and answer them individually as I can. And if you have any other um recommendations for what skills to put in in bait fishing on the bottom rigs go ahead and put them in the comments below and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video